NextGXDX is primarily focused on digitizing the ordering workflow for physicians and genetic counselors ordering genetic testing products. Before we came along, there wasn't a good resource to obtain any of this information. And so we've consolidated the, the marketplace into, you know, one uh, searchable index. And then we also provide tools on top of that so that they can complete the rest of their ordering workflow as well. Genetics introduces so much complexity into the healthcare delivery system and the healthcare system isn't really set up to handle that from an IT perspective. So now that we have this database of products that are on the market, we can offer services to all the different stakeholders in the healthcare system. We're pulling data from hundreds of different sources across the internet about these genetic tests and not everybody lists that information in the same way. So we needed a lot of flexibility in the way we store that information. Um, we also needed a lot of flexibility in the way that we could query and manage that data in the database. The range of high quality to low quality, you know, data sources that are available on the internet for these tests is very broad. Some labs list all the products that they offer on their website. Um, some of them just have them embedded in PDF requisition forms. And so we've developed a bunch of tools internally uh, to be able to, you know, parse the data from all these various sources, standardize them into one consolidated library that makes sense, and then, you know, ultimately make that searchable for the end user. In terms of the uh, test collection process, and, and being able to identify the categories that certain products should fall under. Uh, having the real-time change feeds so that we can update our Elasticsearch index in real-time is absolutely critical for that piece. I guess you don't appreciate the lack of flexibility in certain NoSQL systems until you use RethinkDB, which has like complete flexibility. RethinkDB is sort of a, a pioneer in that regard and that they're in discussions with front-end framework authors and, uh, and you know, the GraphQL and the Falcor guys. So the direction that they have for the product, I think closely aligns with the way web developers are going to be programming now and in the future.